Hi guys, it's me again for the second of today's videos as we're on Nauru now. As Nauru is a tiny island nation located in the Western Pacific Ocean. As the island was inhabited for thousands of years by local tri tribal people. As there were 12 tribes living on the island when the Europeans kind of arrived in the 1830s. As it is for like, the introduction of yeah. It was thought that alcohol and firearms destroyed the peaceful lives of the twelve tribes. As the tribes started to war with each other for the next ten years, starting from 1878 to 1888. Then Germany gained control of the islands in 1886 though. As ten years later, prospector Albert Ellis discovered that Nauru was a witch's riches there. Rich with phosphate, as phosphate became a major, major export of the island. And after World War II, or World War One, it was managed by Britain, Australia, and New Zealand for a short period during World War Two. Japan occupied the islands, but after World War Two, it became an it became an territory of Australia. But gained independence as a republic in. 1968, as the island of Nauru was envir environmentally damaged after the phosphate mining over years. But there has been efforts to rehabilitate, rehabilitate the area of the damage done by the mining, but so far has been unsuccessful. As the island of Nauru, Nauru is situated in the Central Pacific, a country is composite of as like I said before, it is positive of phosphate rocks, which have allowed the frequent strip mining. Its nearest neighbouring island is Banaba, about 186 miles to the east, as Nauru is the South Pacific's smallest state and the first smallest in the co country in terms of surface area. As the first people to settle on the island were from Micronesia and Polynesia. And yeah. And according to a 2016 census, Nauru's population of about 9,591 people, and with Nauru forming the largest ethnic group of the country. Although English and Nauru and are widely spoken languages in the country, there are five mi minority languages that are spoken by a, by a at least a thousand people. As Nauruan is an oceanic language spoken as the first language by over six thousand people in the country's official and is spoken as by about ninety six percent of the country's population and is one of the official languages and especially the and is spoken predominantly by the ethnic clean Nauruan. As Nauruan is a part of the Austronesian language spoken in Australia and Micronesia. In regions, as Nauruan is also internationally recognised by the United Nations and is a de facto working language but commonly used in day to day communication in mostly the home and markets across the island. And there's significantly less dialectal version version of the language with little influence by foreign languages like Chinese. However, before the arrival of the Germans the language had a great diversity of dialects as today there's little difference in dialects spoken around in and around the Yaran district. As a Nauran that language is common not common outside of the country and it's not well stood outside either compared to like other Micronesian languages that we may have gone through in like previous videos and all. And as a result, Nauruan speakers have adopted English as their second language to talk to others. And since as it's like not a common language, as many are fluent in English as well. As English is widely understood by almost all the language groups in the country, despite being a mother tongue of only about 2% of the population, which makes up only a couple of hundred people. 
There's uh, about 7,000 second, 7, people with a second language of English within Nauru. As it, English is the official language for government and commercial sector, as well as like mainstream media. As it also is also taught in schools as a part of a curriculum. As it also, as English is also spoken by the Asian migrants in the country. But with the merging of Chinese, the Chinese language, the Naran English has the far has resulted in. Naran Pidgin English, spoken by some of the Naran population. And apart from English and Naran, there are five other minority languages. As there's also there's about 26% of the population speak mainly Kiribati or Tuvaluan. There's also Marshallese. Kasarian, which are also part of the Micronesian languages, and then which is spoken by less than two percent of the language population, and Chinese account for about fifteen percent of Nauru, and about eight percent speak Mandarin or Chinese, Ka Mandarin or Cantonese. Knowing that China has a couple of languages w within its own borders as well. And yeah, I'll, that's the video, and I'll see you all later. So it's a little short, but yeah, bye for now.